I was inspired to go into sciences and mathematics in particular because of my love and passion for solving challenging problems, um, reasoning critically and methodically. So I think I just embraced science early enough as a style of life. Uh, our research nowadays is all about interdisciplinary uh, research. So a mathematician who has a background in physics has um, quite some edge, and a physicist who has a background in mathematics has quite some edge. So that's actually why I went to, I mean, I did um, a, some mathematics and some physics as well. And it turns out that it's helping me in my research as I try to um, investigate some interplay between um, mathematics uh, and the theoretical aspect with mathematical physics. Research is on fixed point theory and applications and it turns out that it has applications to optimization, how to um, optimize resources given some sort of um, constraints. Um, it turns out also that it is applicable to you know, um, image compression and so uh, that those are a little bit how uh, my research can be helpful for the industry, even though uh, I must admit that my primary concern is not really um, to um, you know, develop applications, but rather uh, focus on the theoretical part. Well, um, my encouragement f to someone who wants to do theoretical mathematics, um, despite the pressure all around, it would be um, to actually stress the uh, fact that um, a, a puzzle, every piece of a puzzle needs to be complete for the puzzles to be solved. So um, as a theoretical mathematician, um, mathem theoretical mathematics has its part in science. And so if everyone should just go for applied mathematics and all, um, who will do the theoretical you know, aspect? So it's good to follow one's dream. And also I must point out that if one is very good at one, he does or she does, um, definitely uh, any a living would not be a problem. But in the next five to ten years, I want to um, have been uh, actually a pace setter in, in the research in operator theory and um, theoretical mathematics in general. I want to actually contribute um, to uh, mathematics at the uh, world scale. Um, I also want to have gotten some prizes, some prestigious prizes in mathematics. So um, yeah, it's, it takes, I believe that the journey is going to be very um, hectic, but I'm prepared for the challenge. Um, from my experience at Harvard University and also at the University of Lagos, um, I want to first say that um, a mathematician needs just a paper and a pen you know, to do mathematics. However, uh, one cannot uh, underestimate the effect of the environment on a mathematician. So while it is possible to do uh, high research, high level research of mathematics in a country like Nigeria, in the University of Lagos, for example, it would be very difficult to achieve that if the institution and the environment does not help. And so uh, I think that what could help African scientists or scientists who work in Africa is actually to um, have this environment that would be helpful and also the institutions should, organ um, should encourage um, in, uh, research and um, some sort of interrelation between um, researchers that are in Africa and researchers that are, you know, away, and not just some sort of uh, encouragement by mouth, but there should be some concrete steps that are taken, you know, in order to achieve that. I think the way mathematics is being taught. Uh, as actually, I think it's also um, the reason why some, a lot of people don't want to do mathematics and uh, I think there can be a, a change, in fact a very uh, significant one at that. If one is able first to pose a challenge to students in schools and say this is a problem we want to solve, how, how do you think we can solve it and give them assignment and just go and solve it, I don't know how you would solve it but to solve it. And 
hear you know, the feedback of the students, perhaps uh, the questions that will be asked, the students might not be able to solve it, or they might take so much time. And then if the teacher now says, okay, I give you a problem, you couldn't solve it so well, I would tell you how to solve it. This is what I should use. I will use mathematics as a tool. Make it interactive. Make it like, oh, mathematics is here actually to solve a problem. If there is that kind of, you know, um, emphasis on solving problems using mathematics, already you will be able to captivate the interest of the students. So by the time you're now taking mathematics um, beyond that, uh, that perimeter of um, uh, solving problems, the students would have already been so passionate about it and wouldn't mind going into some more theoretical um, reasoning.